Hey guys, it's Ex Machina here with another video on a breakdown from my Sunshine Suicides album. This track is going to be Selection. It's the second track on the album. We're going to go over pretty much all of the elements used in the track and then we'll solo them just so you can get an understanding of how it was made. So again, we'll start off with the basics there. We got the kick at the bass. Uh, we'll go ahead and play from where the bass starts. One thing to mention is that the kick that I'm actually utilizing in this track is the same kick that I use in every track. I just EQ, uh, I like EQ it a little bit different on um, each one, so it just kind of depends on the track and the sound. But all the kicks are the same, and the bass is actually the same plugin and patch as well. Okay. Now the leads, so this one is gonna be similar to the last track almost, uh, but we do have an added element here. So we have the Rhodes piano that I use with OCS 45. And then we have an addition, which is this sine wave synth that I utilize in normally every track. Uh, you can see in the beginning here, we actually use the same synth, but we do a lot of the stretching, which gives us the intro. This in combination with the other sounds that I use for the intro, for example, the glitchy vinyl sound. Plus the signature X Machina sound. even with a reverse guitar sound. Gives you So just in this section here, you can kind of hear all of the style that I've been curating um, really for this like dark lo-fi glitch style. Um, so you can see the sounds here. Which is nice, but then you have the snare which actually brings it in. That in itself makes such a big difference whenever uh, you have that and not. So it's always good to play with the actual snare and the hats because that's like the most repetitive thing in the track besides your kick. Uh, so to give it a little bit of character and movement, um, I recommend, you know, using something that'll change it up like super massive um, is what I use here. So if we just looked at what I did for, you know, just the mix, you can see that I've given just a few hits uh, this effect. So it's not all of them, but just, you know, just keep it sparingly throughout the track. But that's that's the first step, in my opinion, to get this sound is to, you know, get the hats and the snare sounding all um, not sync, not synced, but um, also, you know, just wavy like that. Same deal with the vocals on every track. I've got a few layers here. Uh, I use the analog claps quite a bit. I have the way that it echoes, it just sounds really good. Huh, I wonder what this is. Uh, kind of, it's muted. Let's see. Oh, yeah, see, sometimes I like add like these vocals that I don't use. 
I'll just get rid of those normally. Yeah. Seems that I wasn't using it. Uh, we'll double check here. You know, it's like sometimes they make the cut, sometimes they don't, and it does not seem like that one made it. But that's the vocals there. It's pretty much the same. I have just a few chops that I get, and I'll really adjust them, and then uh, use the analog collapse, and then sidechain to give it that echo effect. As far as the vinyl, I've been a little bit more sparing on this track here. I've been keeping the blank spaces so it doesn't interfere with the actual drums and the chops there. But that's pretty much it for selection. Um, the elements again are the same. I think one one thing that we can go over is the hats. Uh, I actually use the same hats for like every single track now. I just like the way that these lo-fi hats sound. Um, I, and what I'll do is I'll actually change the way that they sound by utilizing this transient right here. Sometimes you can make it do the forward and you can make it really short or regular. It's a, a way that I actually, um, you know, edit all of my all my samples. And the only samples I really use are the drums now. Everything else is just made from scratch, which is the way to go, you know, because we're chefs out here. So, but yeah, thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, we'll be back with the third track in the album. Thanks.